I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that, and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Well, I'll answer what I can. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Ask away. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. 
Guess this is a fitting place for that, as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Ask away. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Well, you can call Beagle a deputy, so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. Only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom, if we'd had caps to spare. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Sure, have a look. <laughs> 